Hey, how you doing? Dan Land Pro here. We told you we'd be bringing you a tutorial on how to create a logo or to use AI to give it some instructions on what type of graphics you might want it to create. As you know, we will soon be using generative field for video. So this is just a basic of how you might use this in Adobe Illustrator. Adobe for steppers, youtube.com. Make sure you hit that subscription. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator. As you see, this is how I created the graphic that you saw me use in our intro. Uh, this is what I advertise, and this is how we go about creating a generative field graphic in Adobe Illustrator. So let's go up here to new, hit that new. So I'm gonna use my web large, which is 1920 by 1080. Some of us still using 720, it depends on what you're doing, some 4K. But this is the one that I use. You notice at the top here, you got many selections. So if you're doing templates or art and illustration, film and video, you get to choose. We're choosing this particular one, which is really web. And this is web large. So I'm gonna create from web large, but before we go, make sure you have your width. Make sure you have your height at 1080 and your pixels because you get a choice here. You see all the different choices you get in platforms and uh, ways you get formats you get to make. You also get to use portrait or landscape. So in this case, I'm not doing vertical, so I want to use my landscape. I only want one artboard and I won't have any borders or anything like that. These are some of the other things that you can use to print. Now, right here, you can use RGB or CMYK. CMYK is usually something uh, that you use for print. And if you look down here, you see where it says screen. You got 72 DPI. You can use 300. You can use medium. It depends on what you're doing. So if you're doing print, my suggestion would be do 300. So sometimes you use medium, but I'm either between 72 or 300 DPI. That's just my personal preference. So for web, I'm using 72 PDI. For anything print or video, I might use a 300 just to be safe, depending on what you want to do with it. So that's that drop down menu. And then you have your uh, preview mode, which is default, but you can use pixels or you can use overprint. So it depends on what you want to do. Now, once I'm sure all of this is in check, I'm going to hit create. So now I have an artboard as it's called. The white part that you see is our artboard. Now, instead of me drawing something over here from one of our tools over here in our left panel, what I'm going to do is go up to Windows and come all the way down and you're going to find something that says text to vector graphic beta. So let's click that. Now you'll get this particular instruction board or this particular menu and you see right here where it says type. I can choose a subject so I can choose between a subject, a scene, an icon or a pattern. In this case I want a subject. If I wanted a scene like a city or something or a forest, I would go in scenes, icon, you're pretty much dealing with a logo. So I want a particular subject. So that's that particular menu and down here you see where we're going to give our AI some instructions as far as what we want it to draw. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type dancer on the lake. And then I'm going to hit generate. And you see my AI is now taking my instructions and is generating based on what I asked it to draw me, a dancer on a lake. So I'll get these three choices as to which dancer I want to choose on a lake. So this guy right now is going to be satisfactory as far as what I want to do. So that is basically all you need in order to give AI instructions as far as how you want to create subjects. Now I can say this particular subject, I can change the colors on this subject. Uh, there's so many other choices. That's another tutorial. We just want you to get the basics of how you use AI to give an instruction on how to create something that you might want created. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to ask AI shoes on a lake. And we're going to hit generate. So we're just doing these two to show you how easy it is to generate a graphic in AI. And there's so much more that you can do. And then you can take these particular subjects, as you've seen, and you can put them into uh, logos. And you can use them in so many different ways. You can save your art. You see, you get so many choices to uh, choose from. And if you don't like those choices, you can generate some more choices. There's so many other parameters in here that we're not going to cover because this is the basics. So we can go, you see, we got different choices. We can change the colors in these choices. It depends on what we want to do because AI give you those selections. So I'm not going to babble on. That's how you produce a graphic in AI. Now, remember, right now, I don't know if they put this in a new updated version of AI yet, but I'm using the beta version. And anytime you hear beta, that's usually things that they're offering that's to come in the next edition or the next version of that particular software. So some of these are uh, things that we get a chance to check out and um, mill it with until the actual version is updated and come out. Uh, Adobe is usually pretty good with letting us know that, hey, I'm not a representative of Adobe. I just enjoy the products. So here it is, Adobe for Steppers. Okay, there you have it. And it's that simple. As you see, generative field has been simplified. Uh, remember, some of the technology that we get, it's already been around for a while. This is just the beginning. So the more they release this, the more we'll learn. And it's moving at a rapid pace. We're just going to share it with you here. As I always say, we're going to always fuse stepping with technology. That's the foundation from which we built our media platform. And that's the foundation in which God has blessed me to share this with you. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscription button, that like button. I'm Dan Land Pro. Peace.